much, Dennis. Yeah, that's right. You definitely need that warm water to fuel these storms. Again, that's the fuel. You get that rising motion, the convection, and that's how tropical systems start off, just a cluster of thunderstorms. And as you can see right now, as we take a look at the sea surface temperatures, the Gulf is certainly hot. Again, temperatures in the upper 80s, mid 80s in a few uh, locations. Definitely conducive for tropical development. Uh, looking at this area, that's going to bring us rain today and tomorrow. Area of moisture already tracking some showers moving into our area. But again, we're going to have to watch this area very closely because the National Hurricane Center has highlighted the northwestern Gulf. Again, this is the development area as this as this moves slowly to the west, only a 20% chance, but still a chance where it could try and get its act together as it moves into uh, the Texas coast. So as we take a look at the available moisture model here, so here's the area we're looking at. It is going to bring well needed rain to our area tomorrow, today and tomorrow. But again, as it moves over the Gulf of Mexico here, it could try to organize as it continues to move to the west as a weak system. Nonetheless, even if it's, a, if it's a weak system or not, it will certainly be a rainmaker to areas uh, in Texas as we head through midweek. Still watching this spot over the Atlantic Basin. It's pretty compact uh, area of uh, strong thunderstorms and also showers. The National Hurricane Center, as of the latest update, put a 70% chance of tropical development as we head through midweek, meaning we could have a tropical depression by Tuesday or even Wednesday or even a tropical storm if this thing really gets its act together here. Again, the atmospheric conditions conducive for tropical development, meaning the wind shear is weak and the water is warm enough. So right now it is called Invest 94L. We're continuing to investigate this area. We have a huge Bermuda high over the central Atlantic, so that's going to continue to steer this system. Right now it is moving to the west at 24 miles per hour with winds of 30 miles per hour. And a lot of models, especially the long range models, and you can see they're pretty good consensus, takes it through the Atlantic Basin. So we're looking at Tuesday and Wednesday, we'll, we'll, it'll get pretty close to the Leeward Islands here or the Lesser Antilles. Uh, it's going to bring some gusty winds, heavy rain to those islands. And then as we look further than that, it'll continue that westward movement and could potentially impact Central America as we head into the weekend. Now, I also looked at the intensity models and we could potentially get our first hurricane of the season if that thing really keeps its act together. And the next name on the list is Bonnie.